Um, in this tutorial, it's, we're going to begin a quick tip on how to create um, or emit light from a texture. And this is particularly very useful when you want to be able to like uh, create light from maybe a TV screen. Yeah, and most of the times we tend to always want to uh, go ahead and use uh, emission lights sometimes which washes out the image. So um, over here, I have a quick setup of a TV on a stand next to a wall. And what we've done is we're gonna make this the primary light source. Now with the, with the default lights, the point lights, I've taken it out from the spot or removed it from the area where it will emit light in there. The idea is that we want to make this all, want to make the TV screen rather emit the light into the room. So to go about it, we would first off here I have my screen and whenever you uh, you make your or create your texture. All you want to do is come to shader network and you open up the open up the shader network now to commence we are going to add some few nodes and one is the light path node now we come to add Input, sorry, come to input light path, and we would need two emission nodes that texture, sorry, shader emission. machine notes and then finally we will need a mix shader okay so now we are going to disconnect the color that is the texture over here the image texture we're going to disconnect it from the principal VSDF shader and connect it to the first emission the second emission we would also connect over to the shader. We're going to mix it all within the mix shader over here. And light path, Cam camera ray, we're going to connect it all the way here. And now the last bit, what we're going to do is we are going to disconnect the principal VSDF and then connect the surface, the mix shader to the surface. Now we, we are not seeing any results yet, but we are going to switch over to our viewport shading. So watch what happens. So basically, without any lights, we've been able to turn the TV screen. Now let's give it a second. Yeah, we've been able to turn the texture to emit light into the room. Now this works for both EV and cycle. So over here, let me come over to the cycles, and turn over to EV. Now for EV, for it to work, we will have to click the emission to a higher load. So let's try 50. And the second one will bump it to about 20. Okay, so uh, I think the first one, let's reduce this one to about 20. Yeah, let's reduce this one to 10, sorry. Okay, so now, to re if you actually see, the lights affect both the floor and even as it bounces off 
the edge of the screw it hits portions of the the, the the wall at the back so if we have to take a quick render okay let me first set up my camera we do so by okay, with the camera press align active camera to view so the camera is now set to this view and then we do a quick render So we have the light emission coming from here. So this is EV rendering, and it just took us four seconds. Cycles will take a bit of time, but we're still gonna see the results as it is. So we're gonna switch over to cycles. Gives us more um, um, accurate calculations of light bounces and all. So with the trees, we're going to leave this at 128. Uh, denoising, we'll turn denoising on with uh, LNN and automatic. So let's have a quick, this is going to take some time. So once it starts, I'll pause the video. And when it's done, I will we'll continue with the video. Render. And you can see actually this all the lights that we find in this room is actually emitting from the from the the texture or the TV screen that we've set up over here. So um, if you want to, you can actually tweak this a bit more depending on how your room setup is. You can play along with the strength of both the first and second emitters and you should get the results that you want and it works both ways for both cycles and EV. I think with EV you only strengthen the one that is connected from the color to the second shader. This doesn't really affect it but with cycles you need both of them to interact well with the environment. So um, this is a quick tip on how to use your texture node to be able to oh, sorry let me quickly close this to be able to use your create a, a texture that will be able to light or emit lights the proper way to light a scene or to light the room thank you and uh, i will be releasing um, new videos from time to time so like and subscribe and share this content to um, friends who are having particular problems with creating such a, a setup. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.